now let us actually go ahead and let us actually go ahead and create a heading and then also write some content below that heading so that we can see how it actually appears on a web page when we do that so let me keep the heading h2 because that suits my requirement so say for example i would say test article and then i would write in the paragraph hi i am the content for test article on this blog so you can see that how the heading completely stands out of the actual content which is in paragraph paragraph tags just just keep in notice that everything has its own opening tag and closing tag heading has an opening tag h2 and then again a closing tag slash h2 which is a forward slash character in the similar manner paragraph also has an opening tag and a closing tag if i forget to put a closing tag everything would become would act in a in non-expected manner so automatically everything has turned up in heading and you will also notice that the slash body and slash html are no more being parsed as end of the documents or end of a particular section instead they are being included in the previous tag so it's important to ensure that you have your closing and opening tags in place in a proper manner and if you get in regular practice of having them in place later on when you go on writing bigger articles or bigger codes bigger code snippets of html or even when you are doing a go through to check the structure of your html page it would be quite easier for you because that would be inculcated inside your mindset so you don't have to train your mind again and again that hey i have to look for this so just make sure that you follow the rules you follow the code snippet in a proper manner.